So in this video, we're going to be looking at some of the reasons why your Roblox game failed. Now, a lot of games fail. Most people even just completely give up on development after they release their first game and it fails. But they usually don't even think about why it failed. So it's actually quite simple if you think about it. Anyway, these are the main reasons why your game is probably failing. Like I said, a game's success isn't complicated. It's purely down to three things. If the game's fun, if it's addictive, and will players choose to come back and play the game again? So, I'm going to give you some good and bad examples of this. So, if we compare the push-button tycoon games to those more advanced and fun tycoon games. With push-button tycoons, they aren't even that interesting. And there isn't that much reason for players to play again and again. But with more advanced tycoon games, like Retail Tycoon for example, they're very engaging and players want to return so they can unlock more things. And I'll give you another example. Why does a normal lobby not do as well as a game like Tower of Hell? Well, with a normal lobby game, once you've completed it, there's not really anything else to do. But with Tower of Hell, players can level up, they can open cases to unlock rare items, they can do 1v1s, and most importantly, you can't beat Tower of Hell. Yes, you can complete a tower, but there's a new tower to climb every round. So, hopefully you understand what I mean by that. Your game shouldn't be too easy to complete, or possible to complete at all. Most games on the front page are unbeatable, as they have no real ending, and it's the same with the biggest games of all time, if you just look at Minecraft. Yeah, you can beat the Ender Dragon, but there's always something else to do or build. You can unlock all the tracks in the Forza Horizon games, but it's always appealing to spend money buying new cars, upgrading them, and just driving around. And it's the same with Roblox games. For example, Jailbreak, with new vehicles and updates coming all the time, it gives the player base reason to keep playing, to earn cash and buy new items when updates release. Just to prove my point, look at the most popular Roblox games. Very few, if not none, are fully beatable, meaning players can just play them forever. And that's another big thing. Has your game been done before? Is your game just a worse copy of something else that exists? If that's the case, then that's one huge barrier stopping your game from succeeding. Because why would someone play your game when they could just play the other one, which is more engaging? For example, I'm going to use my own game to prove something. Why does my tower game have so many less players than the real Tower of Hell? Well, obviously there's a huge community around Tower of Hell, but my game just isn't as good. There wasn't as much time and effort that went into it to make it as good as the real one. If you search a generic game name on Roblox, like Escape Prison Obby, you'll find thousands of games, but only five or so with a decent player count, because they're the best ones. If you were to compare the one with no players to the one with 5,000 players, you'd probably see that the one with 5,000 players had good gameplay and a nice storyline, whilst the game with no players had no storyline and was made completely with free models and awful building. So essentially, the reason your game is failing could simply be down to the lack of quality over anything else, but that isn't always the case. You might have an amazing game, but the lack of popularity could be down to an unappealing logo or bad name. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, if we first look at icons, make sure your icon is appealing, brightly coloured and tells the player what your game is straight away. Now, that might not be with text. If it was a shooter game, you could have a cartoony gun drawing as your icon. As long as it's appealing towards your target audience, it should be fine. Just please don't use the Roblox default icon. And the second thing, make sure your game's name is simple but related, so that it's not too much but still tells the player what to expect from your game. You can go into more detail in the description. Here's an example. Adopt Me is called Adopt Me because it's simple and tells the player exactly what to expect. It's not called Adopt and Raise a Child and Collect Pets, Unlock Vehicles and Trade. It's simple and simple works. Again, if I use the front page for an example, all the games have simple names. Adopt Me, Phantom Forces, Welcome to Bloxburg, Arsenal, Jailbreak, etc. So overall, you just need a good icon, a simple yet good name, an actually appealing game and one that's addictive. So if you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Uh, anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.